Hey, the Basic Dad here. Got another video for you uh, in the spirit of uh, kind of camping and, and cooking. Uh, I'm going to do an unboxing here. Uh, I went to Walmart this weekend. I found a cast iron Dutch oven for $18. So I'm going to unbox it, give you a little bit of a review, and uh, tell you what I'm going to cook in it. Maybe coming up later in the next couple of videos. Okay, we've got this thing out of the box. Let's take a look at what it looks like here. You can see we've got a handle. Uh, it's just kind of roughly put on there, but this is supposed to keep you from burning yourself. You see the lids on there. It moves around a little bit, but that's okay. Um, the casting here is a little rough, a couple of dents. Uh, you can see the handle is just kind of put in with a couple of, uh, couple of screws there. But all in all, kind of inside, I could see where maybe they tried to season it, but the casting's still kind of rough. But that's okay, that'll work. Um, you can see if we flip it over, it's got the legs on it here. This is really good if you want to maybe cook over charcoals um, or, you know, just kind of an open campfire. The legs are thin, so it could probably fit through, uh, you know, a grate if you want to grate cook it. Um, but let's, uh, let me show you how I season this thing up. I just take a, a little bit of vegetable oil that I have here, just kind of an old paper towel, not an old paper towel, but a paper towel, and I'm just gonna dip it in there, and I'm just gonna start rubbing it down. Kinda wanna get it and everywhere we'll turn this over make sure we get this side make sure you get the oil everywhere there's cast iron even around the sides. You want to make sure you get that everywhere. Okay. Now we're gonna we're just gonna kind of change up and get a new paper towel here. Come on in and we'll do the inside. Just give it a good Wipe down everywhere, around the sides, everywhere that there's cast iron. The sides of it. Flip it over. We'll make sure we get the, the bottom pretty good. Now this thing was pre-seasoned. You could have used it right out of the box, but I've heard feedback that uh, for these Ozark Trail ones that you know the first couple of uses you might get black flakes so or your food turns black. So just to be safe, I'm going to go ahead and, and pre-season it here. So, my little guy wants to come around and, and stand here with me in, in the video. Um, so he's gonna, he's gonna come around as I give you instructions. Um, so I've got it all seasoned up. Turn your oven to 350 degrees uh, and put this in there for about an hour. Once it's in, let it go for an hour. Then when it's done, turn the oven off. Let it cool down because this will get really, really hot. Pull it out of the oven and you should be good to go. I'm going to put this in for about an hour. Um, then we'll come back and uh, we'll show you at the end what it looks like all said and done. Hey, so I lost the footage. It's in somewhere between kind of downloading and edited. Uh, I lost the footage of what it looked like after it was done seasoning. So I apologize for that. Uh, but I did want to come back and let you guys know 
So what I'm going to do, I've got it seasoned. You've by now seen me do a demo, or if you haven't, go check them out. I'll put the links in the description below of the Solo Stove. I've got a Camp Right uh, tent cot. So I'm going to do a little backyard uh, camping. Um, a lot of the, the um, national parks and, and tents here in, in Texas are either closed or have burn bands inside of them. So I'm going to do a little backyard uh, camping. I'm going to use the Solo Stove. I'm going to use the Dutch Oven. And uh, I'm going to make a chicken stew. So stay tuned for the next video. Uh, we'll do a little backyard camping and cooking.